Dennis found his calling as a railway worker in a quaint village, traversing a route that connected neighboring villages to the bustling nearby city. Though his route was modest, winding through picturesque local woods, Dennis cherished every moment of it. His passion for trains was ignited in childhood, accompanying his father and grandfather, both seasoned train drivers, on their journeys. These early experiences instilled in Dennis a deep admiration for the railway, prompting him to follow in their footsteps. Recognizing the stability offered by the local railway depot, Dennis resolved to pursue a career in railway engineering, mirroring the path of his forebears. Upon reaching adulthood, he left his village to pursue higher education in the city, studying diligently to become an engineer like his father and grandfather before him. Driven by the desire to secure a better livelihood, Dennis diligently earned his engineering degree, paving the way for opportunities at larger, bustling railway stations in the city. Dice enchanted by the bustling pace and overcrowded streets of the city, Dennis made the heartfelt decision to return to his hometown and work at the local rail station, craving the serene beauty of the forests and tranquil nature that surrounded him once more. Initially, due to his limited experience, Dennis began as a second driver, working closely with a seasoned veteran to master the intricacies of the job. After months of diligent learning, Dennis was deemed proficient enough to take on the role of a first driver entrusted with operating freight trains traversing the Siberian landscape. On what seemed like any other winter day, Dennis embarked on his usual routine, relishing the sight of freshly fallen snow blanketing the forest. Amidst the pristine scenery, he encountered an unexpected anomaly, a mysterious dark object lying on the tracks approximately two miles ahead of his train. Initially, Dennis struggled to discern the object obstructing the tracks from a distance, but as the train drew nearer, the source became unmistakable, a pack of wolves steadfastly refusing to yield the right of way. Despite his attempts to coax them away with the train whistle, the wolves remained unmoved, presenting Dennis with a critical dilemma. With the train rapidly closing in, he faced a stark choice proceed and risk harm to the animals, or halt the train to prevent a potential tragedy. In a split-second decision, Dennis opted for caution, yanking the emergency stop lever. The screech of the brakes filled the air as the train ground to a halt, Dennis anxiously hoping it would come to rest without harm to the wolves. With bated breath, Dennis cautiously surveyed the scene, relieved to find the wolves unharmed but perplexed by their peculiar behavior. As the wolves dispersed into the forest, Dennis observed a peculiar sight, a circle of howling wolves seemingly guarding something in their midst. With the immediate danger averted, Dennis's attention was drawn to the center of the circle, where he spotted a figure lying motionless on the tracks. Unable to discern the identity of the person from the train, Dennis felt compelled to investigate further. Equipping himself with a poker for protection against any lingering wolves, Dennis cautiously excited the train cabin and approached the figure. To his astonishment, Dennis discovered a pregnant woman lying unconscious on the tracks. Acting swiftly, he checked for signs of life, relieved to find a faint pulse. Gently rousing her from her stupor, Dennis assisted her to her feet, ensuring she was able to stand before inquiring about her well-being. Leading the shivering woman back to the warmth of the train cabin, Dennis wrapped her in a thick blanket and offered her a steaming mug of coffee to help ward off the cold. Once she had regained her composure, Dennis gently inquired about her ordeal. The woman recounted her terrifying experience of venturing into the snowy woods for a leisurely walk, only to be confronted by a menacing bear. Fleeing in panic, she found herself disoriented and lost, unable to retrace her steps for fear of encountering the bear again. Desperate for refuge, the woman pressed on, hoping to stumble upon a nearby village. Just as despair began to set in, a pack of wolves emerged from the woods. Initially fearing the worst, she braced herself for an attack, but to her astonishment, the wolves did something unexpected. The pack's leader, sensing the woman's condition, approached her with a gentle curiosity, 
recognizing the imminent arrival of a new light. With a sullen howl, the wolf signaled to his companions, then turned to lead the way, urging the woman to follow. Driven by desperation and a sense of trust in the wolf's guidance, she followed their lead until she stumbled upon the train tracks. However, her journey was interrupted by a fall, leaving her unconscious and vulnerable. Upon hearing her tale, Dennis was struck by the remarkable intervention of the wolves, realizing their crucial role in saving both the woman and her unborn child from certain peril. Determined to repay their kindness, Dennis resolved to ensure the woman's safe return home. As the train resumed its journey, both Dennis and the woman glimpsed the wolves watching from the trees, a silent but reassuring presence ensuring their safe passage out of the wilderness. As the train gained momentum, the wolves faded from view, but the memory of their selfless act remained etched in Dennis's and the woman's minds. Their courageous intervention had not only saved two lives but served as a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of all beings in the natural world.